Why didn't they let the black dude be the black ranger? Well, all right. I love that transition. That was amazing. I'm going to be honest, right? I'm going to be honest. And I'm, I'm glad that they did that, right? Because it, it's so many people that are so worried about, like, what this outer appearance is. Oh, the black dude is supposed to be the black ranger. I'm like, shut up. Oh, well, my gosh. Like, like, calm, to be yeah, Asian. like, calm down. I'm like, come on. It's, we are in a total if we different were, place now. If we were all colorblind, right, none of us would care. We would just care about, oh, that's a good movie. That's a good actor. You know what I'm saying? That's a message that I take a part of. You know what I'm saying? Not, oh, that's the black. How would you know? You're colorblind. You know what I'm saying? So that, it's that thing. If color wasn't involved, nobody would care. Yeah, so, Al. So you're saying yeah. Ludi's a better black ranger right. than you. <laughs> no, I'm just saying Ludi's the black ranger right now. Like, that's what I heard. Uh, back, back in the day, a lot of the actors that were on the TV show, they, they had martial arts background. Are you guys all... Uh, of course, we, we guys all got since birth. Trained, no, <laughs> we all trained for uh, for the movie. I think it was, um, I think Dean, our director, did really want us to be able to create our fighting styles uh, for our characters. Uh, I think there was a much more traditional fighting background for the older characters than this time around. It's more our per personality shine through. So it's not like one does jujitsu, the other one does kung fu. It's like. We're just ourselves through being really dope fighters. Um, but we all trained before and during uh, shooting. Because technically, you guys, as characters, you weren't you know, in karate classes. They were just regular exactly. kids. Well, that's exactly. Point. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, we're kids. And then we have to train to become superheroes. More so realistic. we're literally like going through the training process in the movie. Which one of you got too into the fighting? Right. Like, <laughs> I, I mean, I hit someone. <laughs> I, did actually, I did actually make An someone accident. bleed. You did? Like, yeah, accidentally, obviously. Oh, but like true. on the, yeah, because apparently your adrenaline goes at like, the first time. It was the first time I'd done like a fight scene and um, and I just got my, my distances wrong and I just whopped this guy, one of the stunt guys in, yeah, in the mouth. Tell me and how it felt. And it, <laughs> it hurt, I, I bled <laughs> as well. And I was like, I've never like punched someone before. So I was like, I'm so sorry. I was like looking around, I was like, and they're like, and literally he was like, carry on, carry on. I was like, I can't carry on, I just punched you in the face. I was Aww. just like, yeah. Let's put it this way, he bled, she cried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely. Yeah. Not, qu not quite a tear, but you know, I was upset. <laughs> And you guys have been, did you guys get to hang out for like a month before you started shooting so you could get to know each other? Did that happen? We, yeah, we actually, uh, we, I created like a little WhatsApp chat um, oh, cool. for us uh, when we were, because we come, WhatsApp we are. because we're all from different continents. Yeah, we're all from way. different continents and we were, you know, residing in those continents. So, um, yeah, but then kind of a day before pre-production started, we all landed in Vancouver and uh, we were like, oh, we should do, we should do a, like a first read through at RJ's place. Um, I miss that place, to be honest. Yeah, it's a good, house, good house, <laughs> good house. Yeah. And we, uh, we met up and in the space of like three hours, we'd laughed and cried and, you know, done a bit of everything. And I think it genuinely the relationship that you see form on screen, without it sounding too cliched, is exactly what that is off screen. Like I'm traveling with my best, best friends for a month. <laughs> His best uh -huh. friends from Australia are watching like, oh, really? Okay. Wise, man. Qua. Sorry, Hua. Hua. Sorry, Hua. Were any of you fans of Breaking Bad or Brian Cranston? Yes. Are you familiar with him? Yeah. 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 So yeah. Malcolm super all the way excited. in the middle. Yeah, man. Malcolm Ma yeah. in the middle. I actually Matt met Brian you. Cranston for the first time in New York. And um, it was really funny because he is the nicest guy, like really the nicest guy. So when I saw him, it was very coincidental. And I went, Brian! And he kind of, and cause he's so sweet. Like if I was just a fan, he would have like chatted to me, but he kind of looked at me and I was like, he has no idea who I am. Like even that, cause he didn't like, it didn't click Naomi, for him. that's so smart. If you see a famous person, just say, Naomi! And pretend like you know them. That, that worked out for you. Absolutely, I was like, Brian. No, I was like, Brian. And, um, and then I was like, I literally was like, I'm, in I'm in the movie. I was like, I'm the pink one. <laughs> and he was like, Oh, of course. And then he was like, just so so sweet. But he's like, man, he's so cool. I love him. Oh.